So today is day seven. So once a week, I weigh the in weight to see if they're losing the right amount of weight. So this is egg one. It's supposed to lose about 11 grams this week. So let's see if it's on, on weight. I'm gonna set it to grams. So it's 527. So it actually lost 20 grams this week, which means the humidity is too low and it's losing too much weight. So we'll increase the humidity for next week. Egg two. Weighs 650. So it's actually, this one's actually perfectly on point um, for this week's weigh-in. Egg three. Egg 3 weighs 578 and ideally it's supposed to weigh 576 but you can give or take maybe a gram or two. And finally egg 4 weighs 561 and that's exactly um, how much it was supposed to lose this week. So today is day 53 and 50 for the remaining emu eggs. So far only blue has hatched. Um, I've done a tap test, the wiggle test, I've done a float test, I've done every test to try and test if there's something living inside the eggs or if they're fertile at all at this point. Um, and everything comes back negative. So I have a bad feeling that only he is going to hatch out of the eight shipped eggs. If that's the case, I'm going to have to drive to Massachusetts to a breeder and pick up one or two emu chicks just so he has a companion um, because you should never have an emu chick that's just by itself. I also candled the ostrich eggs yesterday. I think they're on day 17 now and they take about 42 days to hatch, significantly shorter than emu eggs. Um, and I found out that one was a dud and one was developing. I was either hoping they were both duds or both developing because again, you can't have just one ostrich chick. So I'll probably have to give this chick away to a farm. Uh, I think there's an ostrich farm in Rhode Island, so not too far from Connecticut, but I'll have to give that one away. So before I actually order the emu chicks from the breeder, um, I have to sex blue because I don't actually know if it's a girl or a boy at this point. So I went to a website, I think it's called IQ Birds, and uh, it's a DNA sexting um, company. And all you have to do is send a piece of eggshell to the company and they tell you if your emu chick is a girl or a boy. So I saved blue shell and you have to get just a small part of the bloody membrane and ship it off with the eggshell and they send you back the results in two to three business days. So it's pretty quick. Ideally I would like a trio of two females and a male so I'm hoping blue's a boy and I can buy two sexed females from this breeder. Hey bud, wanna come out? So here's Blue. I know, bud. We're gonna go outside for his first walk today, so uh, let's go. So ideally I would, I know, bud. Ideally I would like to have him run around inside today because it's it's 50 degrees out, so and he still needs heat. But unfortunately I have a lot of hardwood flooring in my house and emus at this stage are prone to leg issues like splayed leg and it can really mess with their tendons as well. So we're just gonna run outside on the hard ground today. Still uh, the uh, the sit and fall stage where he can't walk more than a few. Oh, there we go. Hey, bud. Where you going? Come on.
I'm gonna probably bring him back inside. Uh, it might be too cold out here for him. Maybe I can put a little sweater or something next time. Um, but this week, I'm actually building his enclosure. Um, I'm using uh, just pallets and two by fours because that's what I have available in my garage. And I figured why not use it before it goes to waste, I know, bud. Um, so I'm trying to figure out how big to make his coop. I'm trying to figure out how many emus I really need. Um, but his enclosure is gonna be a decent size. It's the run that I'm really concerned about because I don't know how large to make it. So I have to do a little homework um, because they need a lot of running room, almost as much as a horse. Um, so I have to definitely take that into consideration before I build it. So I will definitely keep you updated on, uh, on the process of his enclosure. See you, bud.